Hello everyone, it's John Kelly. It's March 31st. I'm calling to give my uh, first video update by a, a video camera. I hope that it's uh, successful and that the, the makes messaging a little bit easier. Just a different way of trying to communicate to everyone. Uh, today, it's an important message around PPE. Uh, earlier today, we sent out a message via reflections and email that was talking about fit checking instead of fit testing. Along with that came an updated document titled COVID-19 PPE Mass Clinical Practice Guideline. And that is the same document that was sent out uh, approximately a week ago. This time it just has some few updates that are going to reference the fit checking instead of fit testing. Uh, and we'll see how well it shows up. But it's this document here that talks about the different levels of A, B, and C protection that uh, I want to make sure everyone is aware and it's out there and that you review it and understand it. Uh, the first thing I will talk about is fit checking versus fit testing. Historically at Marble Hospital we have done fit testing. This is where you go under a hood, you wear an N95 mask, they spray a, a, a substance up there that smells and they want to make sure we get a nice fit not a nice fit of the mask tight around your face so you can't smell anything and um, during that procedure you're coughing, gagging, trying to exhale harshly and uh, really trying to make the, the mask uh, uh, leak. When it's done, you know, we clean the we clean the hood and uh, let it wait sit for a while and then test someone else. There's been uh, reports throughout the country that there's been more folks getting uh, testing positive, employees in hospitals testing positive for uh, COVID. And we're concerned as a system that uh, we want to make sure we're doing everything to keep our staff safe and we, we want to make sure we're not putting folks back into these hoods uh, with the potential that of, of the, someone that had gone into it prior to you had COVID and, you know, then was doing a fit testing and ex, ex, exhaling deeply, coughing, uh, and potentially infecting the hood. And then that's not necessarily getting as clean as we, as it needs to be to make sure that it, it would be perfect for the next person. So to prevent, uh, the risk of this, we're going to stop fit testing and we're going to go to fit checking. And this is something that is also done during the fit testing process. And it's, when you have the mask on is that you make sure that it has a nice tight seal and that there's no air leaks. And this is something that you were trained to do every time you put on a mask anyway, uh, before, prior to going into a room. So, uh, important piece to this is, uh, the folks that, uh, don't have a mask that they're currently, uh, fit tested to, uh, because we don't have enough of them need to go back uh, and get in contact with employee health. If they're going to be doing level A procedures, to make sure that we can get them into a mask that and get them fit checked into it. And this is the majority of the folks that meet this folk, this, this piece are going to be people that are working in, uh, with intubated patients or with patients that are producing, uh, aerosol, uh, treatments. So if that's the case, you want to make sure that you can, uh, get level A protection, uh, PPE and the folks that are a further category. Those are the folks that are wearing the three M smalls. Those are most of the folks, uh, that are going to be uh, uh, directly affected to this and need to make sure that you get uh, refit checked into a, uh, a correct mask. For the most part, it'll probably be the Wilson, but uh, go to employee health and get fit checked. And the purpose of this, I just want to be very clear, is to make sure that we're keeping you safe, not exposing you, uh, doing fit testing unnecessarily. And the fit checking is, uh, you know, the CDC endorses it. It's on the CDC's website. We can certainly put those links up on the blog so people can check it out. Um, and it says certainly during an infectious outbreak that fit checking is a good way to conserve masks so that we don't use them unnecessarily and provides the same uh, assurance around making sure the mask fits the individual safely. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. We'll be around talking about this over the coming days. And uh, please let us know if you have any questions. And thank you for everything you're doing for our patients. I know it's a very difficult time. I know the patients require a lot of work, a lot of PPE, um, and it, it's you're doing a great job. Thank you very much.